with a red and a star on their chest. This is how Burkina Bay also arrived at the Babayara Sports Stadium. So you see them in their arriving jersey in the yellow top with a green pair of short pants to match with. So that was the Burkina Faso or the Burkina Bay players arriving here at the Babayara Sports Stadium. They are also calm, relaxed, making sure they will have to face the host nation. How does it look like when you are facing the host nation in the first ever semi-finals on the home ground? It looks a bit tricky, but taking your chances, you can be able to do something. Let's see if Ghana or Burkina Faso, who makes it to the first edition of the Wafo B U20 Girls Cup. That is a warm-up of the Ghanaian team. And you see them IAM in there, Marian Ponsan. This is the reserve. Players also trying. The first team or the first 11 comfort also in the Mafia Nyame, also in the circle, trying to warm up nicely for this game. I hope they live up to expectation. Mafia Nyame in your shot is the top goal scorer in the Ghanaian team with the goals of three goals. And then the captain, Stella Nyamiche, with two goals, and Miriam Ponsa has one. If we talk about Naomi Adele, who has three goals, Belem has equally a goal. The rest of the Burkina Bay, Deborah, with the likes of Ali Mata, Naomi, and then Fatima to Hilbert, they also have one goal each to their sleeve. Angie Kelly also has another goal to their sleeve. So these are the goalkeepers making sure they are all okay alert and make sure they defense or they keep a clean sheet so these are the goalkeepers also making sure they are fit and to keep a clean sheet for today's match the Ghanaians in your shorts warming up So very soon, we'll be heading towards to see the first semi-finals of the Wafu Zone B Under 20 Girls Cup that is happening in Ghana at the Babayara Sports Stadium. First semi-final match, Ghana taking on Burkina Faso. So on the pitch, warm up time. For the goalkeepers, three goalkeepers in your shots there. We have Afi Ameyaku, we have Deborah Brown, as well as Amina Ahamedou, the three goalkeepers. So that was the Burkina Bay also warming up in shots. And their goalkeepers as well, physical, well built, tall. When you see the Burkina Bay, yes. Talking in terms of sizes or size, the Burkina Bay are that tall, lanky. They remind me of my days when I used to play football in my time. So all is set for the first semi-final game between Ghana and Burkina Faso. The stage is set for the thrilling semi-finals of the inaugural Wafu Zombie U20 Girls Cup. Good afternoon, Africa. Welcome to the Babayara Sports Stadium, where this epic encounter will take place. It's the host nation, Ghana versus their neighbors, Burkina Faso. My name is Esther Abankwam in the company of Nafisa Aduna Fatah. A sport is awaiting one of these teams in the semi-finals, but which of these countries will get that slot? Another to be at the first ever grand finale 
of the waffle under 20 girls cap which is indeed a maiden one altogether and there you have the host nation where all eyes are on them as they look forward another to ensure that their campaign is not stained the campaign where they have made it a point to host and win on this glorious Wednesday afternoon here at the Garden City, there you have the fans in their numbers another to cheer their respective teams on to victory. But before we continue, let's observe the national anthems of the two teams involved. Let's remain standing for the national anthem of Ghana. Et maintenant l'hymne national du Ghana. Oppressors rule that is the last, of course, statement in Ghana's national anthem. And this is a different kind of oppressors rule that they think that they need in order to surmount before they can make a headway and find their way through to the grand finale of this inaugural Women's Cup that has been organized by Wafu. Before we get started, let's take a look at the starting lineup of the two teams, starting with Ghana. Ghana have Afi Ameliaku in goal post for them, Sarah Kulibli, Fatima Tafuseni, Rose Bwachua, Comfort Yabua, Success Amia, Wasma Mohammed, Stella Nyameche who already has two goals for Ghana, Mefia Nyame who is having three goals is equally starting and Helen Alomenu and then Faiza Seidu. These are the starting lineup for Ghana who are all in white heading into this game and that is the coach you see Bazigi. He knows this is a huge game together with his assistant Joe Nana Adakwa. How ready are these two teams and what are they going to exhibit for us here? But who the major question still remains which team would find its way into the grand finale? The officials for today in your short toss been made who wins it. And that is a confirmation of all the referees who will be taking charge of today's game. A crucial one for the two teams. 
on the other hand, this is how Burkina Faso are equally facing their other counterparts, that is the Black Princesses. Fauziatu Rodrigo is in goal post for Burkina Faso. Ali Matabelem, Cynthia, Diana Kabori, Clotard Latifatu, Adeline Kabori, Linda Kiatiga, Munifatu Helbi, Naomi Adeli, who is having three goals, Angie Kelly, Nayaga, and the Florentine, together with Congo Adama. These are the charges of the other half for coach Pascal Saugu, who is in your shot. This is huge for him. The only team that has managed in order to inflict a defeat on him was Nigeria when they faced them in the final group stages of this particular tournament. Burkina Faso in green heading into this crucial game. For each of these two teams were the odds favor. Um, this is all a set for both teams to see who makes it to the first semi-finals of the Wafu B U20 Girls Cup, which is happening live at the Babayara Sports Stadium in Ghana. Fauzia too, and Yashod, she has conceded four goals in this tournament out of the three games that she has played. And she knows that this is huge game altogether for her. Burkina Faso are one of the teams that are having very vibrant leagues in the African continent. So far as women's football is anything to write home about. And that is how they have made it the point in order to turn up to all other major tournaments. Helen Alomenu ready to be on the right flank for Ghana in terms of the attack. A player of Siam Socrate, she knows that this is a huge game as well on the other hand for her. And there, Congo Adama ready to get her started. Congo Adama started one game for Burkina Faso in the opening and there we get started and it says Burkina Faso who get us started in this particular game. Success with the first very timely interception for Ghana as they search forward. Mephi Nyame, the top scorer for Ghana in their two games in possession, ends up giving it away. But fortunately for her, Wasma came to her rescue in order to get the ball they retrieve. And that is Sarah Kulibli of Army Ladies to Rose Wachua of Dreams Ladies. So Dreams have two players in this starting lineup for this game. Comfort Yeboa. But the pass aimed at finding Helen Alamanu was overhead. Go kick the first one for Fauzia to, to effect. And that was the pass. Too much in Essex. Ellen couldn't do anything about it. Uh, Alimata in the heart of defense, making sure the ball goes over for the first goal kick. Comfort Yeboa, success, manages to find her captain Stella Nyameche. Comfort Yeboa gets it, but today she's well been marked. On the other hand, by one of the most experienced players, and there's Burkina Faso set up a player that has played over four seasons so far in the Burkina Bay Women's League and that is Clotard Latifatu for them. Comfort Yeboa with the ball takes a time find Rose Wachua and Ghana are not in a haste. Don't forget this is sort of a knockout competition. Anything that ends up with the goals that ends up being victorious find its way to the grand finale whereas the other team that crashes would have to bid for the third and fourth position great header by wasma mohammed for ghana another throw being won in less than two minutes and all the two teams are looking for the loopholes in their respective setups in order to exploit and get the best of results Pfizer said this header going out of play. Both teams looking a bit unsettled in the early minutes and we are yet to see the team that will come up with the kind of early immense pressure. Good interception once again by success in the heart of Medford and this is a player that won the MVP in their second game when they played against Ivory Coast. Stalin Yameche 
with a very poor first touch. And that is Angie Kelly Nayaga only for Rose Wachua to get the ball and send it back to her captain Stella Nyameche. Mephi Nyame getting her first touch so far with this timely intervention of Alima Tabela once again for Burkina Faso. They have quite a very compact defense. Of course, it took Nigeria more than 20 minutes to be able to break through the defense of the Burkina Bis, and this is what they are doing. They settle in very deep and make sure they dominate in the defense, allowing them to come out. They need to be very solid, either than that Ghana will punish them in the first place. Success to Rose. And Stella, Helen, the offender in this regard for a challenge on Adeline Kabori of Burkina Faso. This is quite huge. These girls, proud to the game, all the two coaches involved have indeed been expressing their opinions. And we had Pascal of Burkina Faso who noted that definitely Ghana, they have the hope support. He knows that is what they have that he termed as the number 12 a man on the pitch for Ghana but then on the other hand in his girls he trusts that he can't deliver for him but will they be able to do that saying it is different being on the field is when the matters most throwing quickly taken by Lima Tabela for Burkina Faso where the follow-up been nicely done by Kabori and there they try to find their first infiltration into the half of Ghana and there they get the first goal. Burkina Faso on target in less than five minutes. And who else? Florentine gets the first goal for Burkina Faso in less than five minutes. That was the first precise and incisive attack that the Burkina Bays have made. This is how it all started right from their main player, Nawomi Adali Kabri, their top scorer who managed to find Angie Kelly, who set up on the other hand, Florentine, who tipped the ball over goalkeeper Afi for them to get the first goal and this game. So after six minutes, the build-up by the Burkina Bays was absolutely solid, only for Florentine to tip it over to give them the precious lead. So Ghana zero, Burkina Faso one. Burkina Faso taking advantage and taking the lead in the very first five minutes of the game. Ghana looks shaky behind the first defensive blinder being called. Helen Alomanu sent quite a very deep cross in, but Mefia Nyame, despite the fact that she tried another to get ahead to record it, Mefia now with a lovely turn and forces a save out of goalkeeper Fauzia too with another follow up narrowly missed and they felt the black princesses of Ghana felt that there was a handball and that should have warranted them the spot kick and it was Fatima Tafuseni who started the attack for Ghana managed to find on the other hand Mephi Nyami who came out with that first lovely turn with a strike only for Fauzia Tutu Pari and the follow-up once again by Mephi Nyame and that was where they felt it has a deflection of the hand of the, one of the defenders of Burkina Faso. Where Heather not on target. Comfort Yeboah. Another chance of penalty. Referee having none of those protests by the Black Princesses. Another good cross in, floated in, followed up by Comfort Yeboah. And there. It takes a deflection for the second consecutive corner kick as Ghana looks forward to get the equalizer. Wasma Mohammed to take this corner kick. She floats it in. Another header, a diving one. Stella Nyameche back to Wasma Mohammed. A header was saved by Fauzia too. Despite the immense pressure in the last few minutes, Ghana couldn't get the equalizer. Good delivery, good save by Fatima Kauziatu, 
which Ghana is now piling up pressure on the Burkinabes to see if they can equalize and see what they will be able to do. But I think they are leaving it too late. Is it too late, Esther, for them to be causing that kind of blunders to concede in the early five minutes? Well, that is what football is all about as the game began. And there come for the Abua with another. This one, a low drive in. Stalin Yamiche steals the ball off. Come for the Abua once again. And if there's a offside against Ghana's Comfort, Yabua, this can't be termed to be quite too late. Although they have conceded in the early minutes of which none of the supporters gathered here were expecting them to have done. But in the long run, what happened the most was that the Burkina Bays ensured that the loophole that they had, they made it count. Good start for the Bokinabis. Let's see how they fare into the first 45 minutes. Is Ghana going to reduce it or is going to be... Pfizer Seydu strikes for Zia to gathers. This is where it matters the most. Semi-final with a slot in the final awaiting. And they've gotten a precious lead to give them that cushion. And there you would have all the different kinds of antics. But it's less than 10 minutes. In recent times, goals can even be scored in microseconds. Ghana with possession. Stella Nyamiche tries to switch play to set up Faiza Seidu. Too much of the pass shown over to Fauzia, to who gathers very swiftly. A lead that has no room for error. And that is what. The Burkina Bays are doing so much another to get ill. And there, the player that started the attack once again, on the other hand, Nawomi Adele Cabri, Stella Nyameche, and Ghana would love to ensure that they keep to possession, dominate, and that is where they can be able to exploit all those pocket of spaces. Stella Nyamiche with the first good turn runs into traffic. Linda with possession and back to Naomi Adele who is trying to replicate what she did in the first. But this time around Rose does better for Ghana with a timely block. Adama Congo sends a good delivery. Rose heads it away. Corner kick 10 minutes, Ghana 0, Burkina Faso 1. Corner kick for Burkina. A first corner kick for Burkina Faso as they make their way to see while they wait to see they can get their second goal of the day. Esther, Ghanaian defense look a bit jittery. The first incursion or the first move that they made resulted in a goal. Corner kick flown in. Mefianyame, the unusual defender for Ghana. It's sent back and Rose Wachua heads it off to safety only for Florentine to have it back. Fatimata Fuseni to Wasma Mohammed. Wasma Mefianyame to Sarah Klibli. Ghana building from the scratch after conceding in less than five minutes. Comfort Yabua. Helen for Ghana, Stella Nyameche. Helen gives possession away to Burkina Bay. Stella does what retrieve and recover possession for Ghana. And if you look at how very persistent the Burkina Bays are when they get the ball and very direct, the Ghanaians are not the same. They can't be helps to be in that same direction. They always seem not to be certain and precise when they have the possession. Mephia Nyame fouled Ghana to get the advantage of this free kick. Esther, first goal has come and Ghanaians are not in that kind of calmness to maintain their composure to see what they can get out of it. They are in a rush. They are now chasing um, to see if they are able to equalize on time. So it's not giving them the second chance to think. They are clashing. They are not communicating. 
they need to come down and see what they are able to do with the ball. Stalonia Miche takes the free kick. Good save, but there it is. Ghana with the equalizer. Stalonia Miche, the captain, coming to the rescue of Ghana. Game on, 1-1, one, one. runs into the arms of her coach. You see Bazigi. She knew, indeed, she knew that this is a huge responsibility for her. And how the LT once again fumbles, fails to gather at once. And she knows that she has indeed let her team down. But don't take anything away from this well taken free kick. Stella Nyamiche, she's just sensational. On target, Fauzia to attempt her to save it. But that wasn't meant to be. Ghana won. Burkina Faso won. Game on. Burkina with another incursion. But Afi does better this time around. Stella Nyamiche, she's caught through a set piece in Ghana's opener when they played against Benny. And she has done the same in Ghana's third game in this competition. Esther, this is what um, the problem of Fauzia 2 has. With against Nigeria, she is not able to grab the first ball. There is always a bounce back or a kind of deflection from her. I don't really know. So it hasn't been something new with the goalkeeper Fauzia 2. But this time around, she has to make sure because if Ghanaians are able to exploit that kind of first touch, not able to grab, then they should be followed up. And this is what Stella Nyamiche noticed. Bounce in front of her, and then that was a goal for her, making her that is her third goal of the tournament. Game on, Ghana won 15 minutes as Ghana won, Burkina Faso won. We are back to where we all started from, back to where we all began from. Semi final bird of the Wafu Zombie U20 Girls Cup live on Max TV, made possible through IMAX Media, bringing to the doorsteps of all football loving fans this wonderful display of football by Ghana as the host nation, Pfizer Seydou, Pfizer to Stella Nyameche, but Belem Alimata is well positioned. Wasma Mohammed to Befia Nyame, Helena Lomenu delays in picking that pass. Fatimata gets it to success, who strikes with a low drive, not on target. Go kick for Burkina Faso. Just to remind you that this is a different tournament altogether, aimed at allowing girls who are under 20 years in the West African sub region for them to exhibit their talent for all and sundry to see and since it's an inaugural one altogether seven teams started this competition we had in group a ghana had Beni and cote d'ivoire to be in group a group b had the likes of Burkina faso nigeria niger and togo but in the long run it's only these four teams that have been left ghana come for the abua stalanya meche whether or not hard to make it to Messes by a whisker. Go kick. But look at that build up. The first was that precise pass from success to Helen to comfort the Abua. Unmarked. Stella fails to put Ghana in the lead for the first time in this game. So the scoreline still remains 1 1. 1 1. All sets. Game. Back to restart. Helen to Mefianyame. It takes a deflection. Goalkeeper once again fouls yet with another howler. Corner kick. This is where they need to give a lot of such strikes. Helen to Mefianyame. Had it not been this deflection, Ghana might possibly be in front. Looking at the failure of Fauzia to, to gather. Corner kick, the third of the opening game for Ghana. Mefia Nyame heads on target, but is saved by Fauzia too. 
only four teams have been left out of the seven teams that started. Ghana, the host nation, who are playing currently with Burkina Faso. Later at 6.30 p.m., Nigeria was squared off with Benin. Sarah Kulibli enter finding Zoles in her goalkeeper Afi Stella Nyameche to Pfizer Seidu and Pfizer has Diana Cynthia Kabori to tangle with a Heather manages to send a delivery in but no player of the Black Princesses was like an intent in the half of Burkina Faso's success to Murphy and Yame, Fatimata and Wasma find the feet of success. Throw in to Ghana in less than 20 minutes. Comfort the Ebua goes for the long throw. A header by Stella. Pfizer Seidu. Murphy and Yame failing to increase her number of goals to six to four for Ghana. Rose Buachiwa with a good block. Stella Nyameche. Ghana building from behind, slowly trying to fight fluidity and their passage of play. Helen gives possession to Florentine of Burkina Faso. Stella Nyameche. To Mafia Nyame and Mafia decides to go for the 1v1 corner kick to Ghana. If you look at the Thalipoti between Stella Nyameche and Mafia Nyame, that you would not say she ended up having a bit of Mafia Nyame in that clearance. Corner kick to Ghana. Can they score from this that was situation? Fatimata Fuseni, the nimble footed player. It's last wide. Go kick. 20 minutes. Ghana one. Burkina Faso one. After knowing how Burkina Bays are threatened in front, they should be worried because if you are wasting all these chances and then looking at the attack of the Burkina Faso, any move that they make is that dangerous they will have to make everything count they will have to calm down the ball knowing the goalkeeper fumbles you will have to be sending in that strike and drive and making follow-ups i guess this is what the Ghanaians should be thinking at this moment just to maintain that composure and making sure they take the lead and burkina faso not coming back because it looks dangerous when you have the burkina base surging forward and doing that kind of runs Helen Alomenu for Ghana to Stella Nyameche with a lovely first turn and thatch, of course. The ball has been retrieved by Mephi Nyame, who drops this time around to the right flag for Ghana. The fifth lady top scorer for this season, Mephi Nyame. As she delayed in releasing the ball, all that she was doing was just trying to find a teammate that was well positioned that can cause an upset. Mafia Nyame to success. If you look at Ghana's, the road that they had in order to find their way through to Wasima slips, manages to get back on her feet with this good drive across the face of goal. Goal kick. After taking a tumble, she managed to get up and come up with a strike just across the face of goal. If you look at Ghana's road to the semi finals of the, this particular competition, in their first game, they beat Benny by three goals to zero at the same venue. Burkina Faso, Fatimata with good good and very timely interception for Ghana. Stella Nyameche back to Murphy Nyame. Wasma Mohammed. 
Ghana beating Beni 3-0 in the opening game, where they ended up getting Stella Nyameche, Mariam Ponsa, and then Mephi Nyame on target in that game. In their second game, they beat Ivory Coast by three goals to one. And this is a particular game that ended up earning them six points in Group A and other to find their way through to the semi-final stage of this competition, conceding only one goal. Good, good start for Ghana. They have come of age, they have stabilized now, and now they are pushing forward, making all the rounds. But as the Asa said, they will have to make it count. They don't have to be wasteful and they will have to be clinical because the Burkina Bay looks dangerously, especially if you have Adele on the ball. She has that ball control. She holds on to the ball. She gives that accurate passes to make sure their, their, their chance of going top of the, of the day is at stake because she is the only person up front. And if you see Bwachua complaining now, it means our defense is also going to be in a kind of trouble as you see Boashua lying. I don't know whether it's a hamstring or she'll be okay to come up. Either than that, then we will have to have um, the next person taking over her position. She wasn't in the beginning of the last um, match, but here she is and then complaining of injury. After school, you can't miss such a game. That is why these students are here in your numbers. Avi Babayara Sports Stadium to cheer their young and of course all the sisters on to victory in this game. They know that this is crucial. This is huge. Rose Wachua, who is getting the first belt in this particular tournament. Before this particular game, she was on the bench and it was Abena Anoma Opoku who was starting central defense together. She was then paired with Sarah Kulibli of Army Ladies but coach you see Baziki opted for Rose Wachua because of perhaps her physique and looking at the opponent that they were going to play against that is Burkina Faso he felt that having a bulky player in the heart of defense like Rose Wachua can give them a lot of good and I said if she's unable to continue that will be a huge setback in terms of the plan of the technical team for the black, for the black princesses of Ghana I guess she's up and then all for it to go back on the pitch. They had a water break and they will be going back for the first half. Aside, so far so good for both teams. Scoring a goal each, Ghana conceding the second goal of the tournament. And then Burkina also, the howler from Fozia too wasn't something that they needed to do. Burkina Faso, their road to the semi-final. This is how it all unfolded. In their first game, they beat Togo by two goals to zero. And that was where Munifatu Halbi, who has been neutralized in this particular game, had the first goal for them before Ali Matabelem made it the second goal for them to get 2-0 victory over their Togolese counterpart. In their second game, they beat Niger by eight goals to zero. That was a different game that saw them trashing Niger by eight goals to zero. But they couldn't get a single goal when they played in their final game in the group stages against Nigeria. Nigeria's Super Falconets beat them by three goals to zero. So that is how Burkina Faso found their way to the semi finals of the inaugural. Wafu Zombie U20 Girls Cup that has been hosted in Ghana. As we approach the 30th minute of this game, it's 1-1 one, one apiece. Helen manages to get corner kick. Another that ball situation that Ghana can't capitalize on to take the lead for the first time in this game. They drilled only to be at par through the intelligence of their captain, that is Stella Nyameche. Corner kick. Mohammed floats it in. Wall 
trashed by Burkina Faso for another corner kick. So these are the set pieces that Ghana have enjoyed the most in the first period. That is the corner kick. Header from Alima Tabelem of Burkina Faso. Corner kick. Wasma sent it back. And Alimata once again to the rescue before Naomi Adele. A strike on target for Ghana. Out of nothing. Success Amiya. This is a player that has this unique and exceptional trademark. Scoring from such long range. And there she has done it for Ghana's black princesses. Ghana takes the lead for the first time in this game. After Wasma had sent in that corner kick, Balam before Naomi trashed, but the ball ended up on the feet of Success, who came out with his traveling strike, well placed, and it found its way into the back of the net. I said a good clearance from the captain of the side was not that good. It landed just right on the foot of success Amiya who taking her chance giving that long range drive and then I'm telling you when it bounces in front of the goalkeepers it's difficult for them to be able to 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 read the ball because definitely when it bounces off you it's really tricky and then that is how they are able to get their second goal but as I said they need to be doing much more follow up because Pozia too has shown that she is not able to grab once when the ball arrives at her end. A well-placed strike. Ghana in the lead for the first time. 30 minutes. That is the trademark of a team that is determined, that is so, so anxious to ensure that its campaign that has been host and win is not tainted. Leaders doing it as they often do. Come for the Abua. Throw it in to Burkina Faso. This is a different game. Look at the fans. They knew that they can't disappoint them. We must commend the Black Princesses for having responded very positively after conceding. They didn't give up they knew that it was very early and that they had all the positive and encouraging signs to make amends to come in strongly in the game and that is what is earning them the lead for the first time in this game 2-1 with this free kick won by success it's that they need to be piling on pressure and then as time goes on they'll be able to settle because if you are not able to take your chances definitely it dawns back on you and then you'll be in a rush to make sure you reduce your deficit. Rose Wachua for Ghana. 2-1. Three goals in the first half after 31 minutes. Free kick to Burkina Faso. Rose Wachua of Dreams Lady. She commits that tactical foul, knowing how very slippery Congo Adama can be when she's allowed to have that space in front of her. Wasma Mohammed to come forward, Iyabua. In the group stages, 43 goals were scored out of nine games, of which, of these nine games, we had six home wins and three away wins so this means that if the stats are anything to go by ghana might end up being victors in this game because they are playing the home side sarah kulibli to rose wachua and ghana after getting the lead are trying to take their time and then ensure that they launch an attack at a very good stage Pfizer seidu and Pfizer Seydou hasn't really been transformational up front for Ghana and both all the games that she has started so far for the Black Princesses. 
I see her as the top striker or the one leading the attack. But anytime you see her drifting to the wings and she joins um, Stella Nyamiche, is it Stella? No. Mefia Nyamiche on the right hand side, and then it's difficult for Mefia to repeat unless there is a switch that Stella has to cut in to make sure she plays herself in that position to make it count. But Fozia has been a passenger, if I could say, in this very first half that I have seen her. Naomi to Congo Adama and Burkina Faso are looking forward to search and penetrate the half of the Black Princesses, but the defenders have helped the team. Congo Adama, Congo finding Monifatu, who hasn't been herself in the first game. She was very, very clinical and lethal, both in the heart of defense, in the midfield, and up front for Burkina Faso. But she hasn't really settled fully in this particular game. Stella Nyamiche brought down free kick to Ghana, and this is where it is well positioned. Stella can pull one of her strikes once again and ensure that she extends the lead. Stella Nyamiche already on three goals for Ghana. And Stella is a coach, a calf license D coach, who is currently pursuing her calf license C as well. So this is a player that really understands the game itself, having graduated as a coach less than 18 years, living her dreams and playing for dreams, ladies. This is a tournament that if she's able to lead Ghana for them to win this inaugural title, will live with her it will be an album of memory that she would have with her for years and generations to come Stella Nyamete with a chance to extend Ghana's lead 35 minutes Stella Nyamete Naomi Adele Kabri blocks for Burkina Faso Congo Adama Congo finds the feet of Angie Kelly Nayaga Offside against Naomi Adeli Kabri. She herself knew that she was in an offside position, and as such, when the ball came, she was a bit reluctant to go for it. So that was when she fell into the offside track, of course. Success. But success gives the ball away to Linda. Naomi Cabri, Naomi to Congo, Burkina Faso on the offensive, success, intercepts, Stella Nyameche who drifts to the left, Pfizer sent the ball back to Stella, and Stella is dazzling up front, corner kick. It's always difficult to describe this wonderful teenage player, Stella Nyameche. Look at that fluidity that she has. Pacey, precise, direct. Stella, on a kick to Ghana. And Burkina Faso, they have Congo Adama. Yeah, striker who is in a discomfort state but the fans would not waste any time at all they have to be merry and they are enjoying themselves because their team has given them the results corner kick Stella Nyamiche decides to take this Stella Saints the corner kick in a header by Helen not the best Comfort Yabua set up success on target. Another difficulty by Fauziatu to gather at once. What is it with Fauziatu? With this very pertinent, repeated mistake that she makes. 
comfortable was set of success who wanted to replicate what she did earlier but just time around Fauzia to guard it. Esther, I don't know what is happening to Fauzia too. This is not happening once, twice. In the game against Nigeria, that was the mistake that she kept on repeating. And I'm not sure if the technical bench hasn't seen or there's no any better goalkeeper more than her that she has to be in the goalpost. I'm proud to this one. She wasn't that okay, but um, when the lineup came, I was surprised to see her in goalpost. And I said to the Ghanaians, if they really want to score more goals, they need to take advantage of what Fozia 2 has been doing in goalpost. And yet they are doing it, but I said they need to take much more advantage because when the Bokinabes are moving, they are dangerous. Comfort the Abua. 40 minutes approaching on the clock. Comfort the Abua to Stella Nyameche. And Stella has the two captains in a tango Alima Tabelem and Stella Nyameche. Kungu Adama runs into traffic. Rose Wachua getting her positioning right. Managed to steal the ball off the feet of Congo Adama when she wasn't expectant. 40 minutes, Ghana 2, Burkina Faso 0, Burkina Faso 1. The scoreline was indeed turned around. Ghana with a chance to extend their lead. Mefia Nyame. Mefia. Deflection. Mefia's first touch wasn't the best. And she realized that Stella was well positioned. Sent her the ball. That was the first touch by Mefia Nyame. Before she found her captain well positioned. But this block there by Latifa 2 of Burkina Faso denying Ghana the chance to extend their lead of making it 3-1 and now to have a very good cushion before the first period ends. Corner kick, Stella Nyameche to effect. A good one flowed it in. Comfort the Abua to Wasma, but that was an indecisive strike. Another one on target for Zia to struggling just as she did and this strike this time around was coming from Rose Wachua of Black Princesses after getting her first control right she attempted to get a goal but that was punched away another head on target this time around well done by goalkeeper Fauzia too so Ghana probing and asking the right questions, telling Yamiches delivery of that corner and the header that was saved by Fauzia too. Good cross whipping by the captain, equally a good header by Mefia Nyamiche. But this time around, Fauzia to make sure she doesn't dirty herself in goalposts. Nice build up. As the, what I'm seeing in the Ghanaians, their best luck is when they are attacking on the ball. They don't attack the ball. They rather get themselves relaxed when they are receiving the ball. They need to attack the ball. They need to make their runs. They need to be serious on the field of play. And it seems... It seems they are not getting things done. They are leaving and giving a bit more space for the Burkina Bays to operate. If you have their advantage, Putting all that pressure on the Burkina Bays, asking questions, and you are not get, being clinical, then it's, there's a question mark upon how you are going to make it count because definitely you need goals to make sure you are relaxed and settled so that you can be given. Because anytime there's pressure on Ghanaians, they find it difficult to be able to defend their line. So if you have the opportunities and glaring moments, chances upon chances, and you are being wasteful, um, you see Vaziki has a lot of pep talk for these girls in the second half. 42 minutes with just three minutes to end the first period of the game. Pfizer Seidu in a word with Helen Alomenu. 
clearly she's unhappy. She couldn't get the pass as she rightly anticipated for Pfizer Seydou for Ghana. Mephi and Yame, Black Princesses, Success, Rose Wachua. But Rose ends up giving the ball away to Naomi. Burkina Faso, Angie Kelly, to Congo Adama, but success retrieves for Ghana as they take their time. Fatimata Fuseni to Wasema, Wafu, Zombie U20 Girls Cup live on Max TV, a broadcast that has been watched by all the sub. African countries that have participated in this tournament, including those that even hesitated in the group stages, the likes of Togo Niger, all of them, and Ivory Coast leaving the tournament for it to be left with only these four teams. Success to Stella Nyameche, referee. Stella wanted the spot kick, but referee felt that that wasn't too much of a contact that could have earned her that penalty kick. 45 minutes, Ghana 2, Burkina Faso 1. As we await the number of additional time from the fourth official. Comfort Yabua, Faiza Seydou, but there weren't any Ghanaian player lurking around. Fatimata Fusseini, Fatimata with a good one in, and Fauzia to gathers. Three minutes confirmed additional time before the opening half ends. Three minutes for Ghana to extend their lead three minutes for Burkina Faso on the other hand to get the equalizer and be 2-2 apiece. Mefia Nyame for Ghana. Mefia to Helen who is now no longer on the flanks. Fouls Adeline Kabori. She's fortunate not to have been brandished with a yellow card because that was a reckless tackle. Alomenu. But referee didn't spare the road. She has brandished the first yellow card to Helen Alomenu of Ghana just when she found herself in a different position. She ends up getting a yellow card fell. That tackle. Mephi and Yami to Stella Nyamiche. Wasma Muhammad of Northern Ladies to come for the Abu of Hazakes ladies. The ball had already crossed. Go in as the Burkina Bays are anxious to get the equalizer before the first half ends. Adama. Stella Nyameche for Black Princesses. Back to Comfort Yeboa. Pfizer Seydou leaving it for Murphy and Nyame. And Pfizer heads it. Murphy and Nyame motions forward, manages to get possession. And Murphy and Nyame get corner kick of which Ghana has enjoyed the most, getting the lion's share of those corner kicks. Latifatu was the one who ended up with the last touch. And in Ghana, another corner kick right on the stroke of half time. Stella Nyameche to take 
sends it in. Diana Cynthia Kabori nearly scored an own goal. All the deliveries of Stella Nyamiche have been spot on. The corner kick was even taken when Fauzia was out of a goal post. Another one, this time around Fauzia to doing things right. Punching it away to safety, but the referee haven't seen enough. And proceedings for first half here at the Babayara Sports Stadium. Success, Amiya. In your shot, she had a second goal for Ghana after Stella Nyamuche had gotten the equalizer through the dead ball situation. So it's all over for the first half. It's Ghana 2, Burkina Faso 1 for the first half. This is how the two teams walked onto the pitch as the semi-finals of this Wafu under 20 girls U20 cup which has been organized by Wafu precisely been held in Ghana's Garden City Kumase four teams left in this particular competition after seven starting on the 20th of May after formalities were made action began and Ghana were looking forward to settle very quickly before their counterparts do. But that wasn't meant to be as this particular attack and Burkina Faso, the first goal in less than five minutes through Florentine to give them that precious lead. The build up was very very exceptional Florentine on target for Burkina Faso Afi couldn't do anything about it because she had already committed and Florentine just had to dip the ball over her in order to get the goal Mephi Nyame had his good turn and this wonderful strike a deflection through the hand of one of the defenders of Burkina Faso, all the chance by the Black Princesses for penalty to be awarded to them fell on deaf ears as referee indicated that she sported things rightly so. And Murphy Nyame was fouled in this instance and in Ghana this free kick that Stella Nyameche had to spark and come up with one of a special moments of getting Ghana the equalizer. Fauzia to at it with her inability to deal with it for Burkina Faso. And right here, success was involved in a very good build up with Comfort Yabua. But Stella couldn't get the ball on target another save that was forced out of Fauzia too by Mephi Nyame and looking at how Ghana responded after trailing and getting that equalizer through Stella Nyameche before Fatimata's effort was missed narrowly Wasma after taking a slip, got back on her feet and came up with another one. Success, Amiya had the second goal after the corner kick was taken by Mohammed. Naomi Adeli Kabori thought that she had cleared, but the clearance fell at the right spot for Success, who found her slot to ensure that Ghana gets the lead for the first time in this game and she celebrated it with so so much enthusiasm knowing the substance of the goal that she had scored another effort was tried by the captain of Ghana's black princesses Stella Nyameche but 
Alimata, her fellow captain, trashed it off to safety for them. This effort, although it was on target, Fauzia too with a second attempt gathered for Burkina Faso and Mafia Nyame set up her captain, but that effort was blocked by Latifatu before the save by Fauzia too once again for Burkina Faso. So having had a very eventful first half, all the teams created two chances, but it was Ghana that scored when they had the privilege of doing so. So first half ends here at the Babayara Sports Stadium and FS Ghana to Burkina Faso one. Sixty seven percent ball possession for Ghana. 33 for Burkina Faso, eight shots on target for Ghana, two resulting in goals, one for Burkina, and the only one that they had resulted in a goal as well. 11 corners for Ghana, one for Burkina, one offside apiece for the two teams, seven fouls committed by Ghana, six by Burkina Faso, one yellow card for Ghana, none for Burkina. And the two teams were so disciplined enough not to have gotten any red card. So first half ends, Ghana 2, Burkina Faso 1. Welcome back to the Babayara Sports Stadium where Ghana lead the Burkina Bays by two goals to one. It was the Burkina Bay who grabbed the early minutes in the fifth minute. Florentina scored the first goal for Burkina Faso. And our side, it was the captain, Stelena Mitchell, who had that long free kick drive equalizing and then success Aminya also giving the belter to make Ghana lead two goals to one here at the Babayara Sports Stadium. I have here the goalkeeper's trainer, Coach Raymond Funny, to discuss the first half with Coach. First impression, the very first 45 minutes. Well, uh, it was also impressive uh, because we are scoring a lot of chances and our guests look a bit reluctant. And I must say that uh, we, we didn't anticipate that they would play like this because we know that because our camping period was very short, the results they will get, but we will not get the coercion and that uh, free flow of football. But it's a bit, it, it, it is a bit lower than we are expecting. Burkina Faso has been a big tricky side when we are playing them. Do you, when you look at their physicality and then their strength that they use in playing, at least Ghana should be wary about. We haven't had a good start since our match day one with Benin and against Cote d'Ivoire. And it's showing against, against um, Burkina Faso. What is wrong with the team? Yes, uh, like, like I said, we, we started camping our four weeks ago. We did a screening and then we selected some few because there was an ongoing league. So we were not able to groom them. The first team that played the first match, I think we played a friendly match and those were those who started. So we are, we are using the same team to play and it is, it is, it is gradually coming. But the, 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 the pace with which we are expecting that from match day one, day two, they should have progressed. It's unfortunately, it is not showing. The first five minutes, Ghana wasn't so organized behind that we got punished. Our defense has been our problem since we started. What is the pair up or why are we not getting that combination right for the Ghana defense? Uh, unfortunately, before the pre-technical meeting, Coach Bazigi, he, 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 he told the guests that this is the weakness that he has seen, so we have to cover up. But unfortunately, it was the same mistake, and they took advantage and they had a goal. But like I said, it is now that the team is gelling, and having the centre back pair, we are struggling. We were because we played with uh, Anoma Opoku, and then she got injured, so we have to bring on uh, Rose. Yes. She is playing well, but she is not like. Anoma Opoku, honestly. 
dealing with the physicality and the height of the Burkinabis, don't you see Rose Boucher has the, that kind of body to make sure to tame the Burkinabis down when they are surging forward? Yes, she has the body. Maybe the boss, boss in the air, she can challenge, but like you, you saw in the goal that we considered, the ball was passed by her. They just passed by her. She couldn't do anything. Was there no miscommunication between the goalkeeper yes. and then the defenders? Not really, not really. The distance between the goalkeeper and the defenders were, was about 8 to 10 meters. So why so was the keeper moving away? Because once you are coming out of your box, you have to make sure you are getting to the ball. But she wasn't able to reach there. That's why yes. I was asking. That, that was, honestly, the goal was a mistake because I being the goalkeeper trainer, I have been working on this 1v1 situation. Did she call for the ball? In that situation, I, 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 okay, I don't know whether she called for the ball, but it was a true pass. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know whether she called for the ball. Because before a goalkeeper could move after your box, heading towards the ball, and looking at the posture or the demeanor of the defender, meaning I assume from my point of view that maybe she might have called for the ball. That led to that miscommunication. No, from where the the ball was kicked, she has to come out. But she has to be in line with the ball. She shouldn't have gone down for the girl to chip the ball. She will just stand on her feet and then she will push the ball to the touch line. So was it the smartness of Florentina to chip the ball yeah, knowing she, the position? She's very, of very intelligent. Very, okay. very intelligent. Looking at our goal that was called and then the rebounds of success Amiya, the positioning, the first touch, and that, that bounced goal that went in. What's he saying? Is it a lack or it was well constructed goal? Well, every goal is a goal. <laughs> But it is not well constructed. Uh, the, the goalkeeper was not so good. If there, it should have been a very good goalkeeper, uh, that goalkeeper would have saved them. But it is a goal. We uh, have found a loopholes in their goalkeeper. The defense is a bit okay, but the goalkeeper has been the problem. Why is Ghanaians not taking advantage? Because you've been asking questions. But they seem reluctant when they get into the box, keep their body composure and make sure they're buried. But they've been in a rush all the time. This is what you could see uh, Basigi telling them, calm down, calm down, calm down. Like this ball, for instance. Just bat the ball into the net. I'm surprised of Mafia. Her first touch is in the box when it comes uh, to ball. Very, is it judgment very, very or decision or her first touch has uh, let her down? Yeah, her first touch is. You could see the, the other match too, there was a pass also. Her first touches were poor. Honestly. So what are we looking forward in the second half for the Ghanaians if it should be like this, meaning they will be the first semi-finalists of the competition? Well, uh, we have to score more goals, not because uh, we need goals to qualify, but that will help boost the morale of the team. We are playing well, but not the way we, are, <coughs> we the technical team, are expecting. If we should qualify, we are going to play against Nigeria. And they are a good side. I must say they are a good side. You know, the Burkina Bays, they are very tactically disciplined. But we, we have been able to break through those uh, tactical defensive uh, play that they are playing. So maybe uh, it will go well against Nigeria. Looking at the Burkina Bay, Adele in the heart of um, striking ability. She's been able to hold on to the ball. She has been a ton of flesh in the Ghanaian defense when we talk about it. How are we going to control it? Because when they are surging forward, they are dangerous. Yes. Uh, she's, for me, yes. this tournament, she's one of the best players. She's a very good player. So simply, we are going to plant a woman on her so that when they, they want to find her, to track her down so that she will not have that, that space to, to do a, a, a kind of <laughs> maneuvers that she's doing. She's been slippery a bit. She doesn't start at one particular place. You find her in the defense. Definitely you find her moving to the midfield. When she yeah. gets the ball, she's so difficult to deal with. Yeah. Looking at Rose, looking at uh, uh, Fusena, and then the likes of are they able to deal with her because getting her, she's been winning all balls and then getting yes. fouls in around the box. That is that is where I think we are having a little a little miscommunication. But coach has already assigned rules to be on her so that success will be in front of her. But unfortunately, she is marking, giving her space. So maybe second half she's going to close up the spaces so that she will not be able to to turn and attack us.
Shall I put you in your corner? What will be the final prediction in the next 45 minutes? What are we seeing? Well, I'm expecting that we will add three, three more goals to this goal so that it will be five. 5-1 by the end of the day. So the goalkeeper's trainer of the Black Princesses, Roman Funny, is expecting us to go in for another three goals, making it 5-1 in favour of the Ghanaians. Were they able to do it or what are we expecting in the second half? Coach Yusuf Baziki is in the position to make sure we qualify to the first ever edition of the Wafu B Under-20 Women's Cup of Nations. We'll be going to the next 45 minutes and extra will be taking us through the next 45 minutes. Twenty Girls Cup live on Max TV. A clash involving host nation Ghana and Burkina Faso. The first half, an eventful first half for the two teams. Ghana, after trailing, managed to get the equalizer and ensure that he took the lead for the first time and that was all thanks to the exploit and the sensationalism of this particular player very good stolen amateur who was very superb in the open and have getting ghana the needed equalizer at a very good time before success restored ghana's lead substitution for Ghana, Rose Boachua, who had her starting bet in Ghana's starting lineup in this particular tournament, paves the way for Kanfodo Wusu of Hazakes Ladies to replace her. Tactical substitution by coach Yusuf Bazige. What that Pascal tell his girls, Pascal of Burkina Faso, with those pep talks. Be put to good use by his players the next 45 minutes will let us know and here we get started ghana all in white in the second half playing from right to left the away team burkina faso in green playing in the second half from left to right would ghana be able to continue from where they left off after that immense pressure that he piled Ellen Alomenu for Zia too. Reading through and sensing that danger came out of her goal post very swiftly to ensure that Ghana doesn't get the opportunity to extend their lead. And that was when Helen Alomenu of Isiam Socrate had to go for that ball. Success been given a word of caution. This is a verbal caution for that challenge on Congo Adama of Burkina Faso. Already Ghana has one booking and that is Helen Alamanu in the first half. And that has been the only booking in this game. The fans would have to continue enjoying themselves. They are in a static mood. They deserve to because their team have taken the lead in this game. Semi-final for that matter. Angie Kelly. But she ends up running into traffic. Florentine. Unifatu couldn't get the ball well enough for Burkina Faso, Helen Alomenu to Mefia Nyame of Ghana, Wasima to come for the Wusu. And Stella Nyamiche gets it, raises her head, but her pass is blocked. She makes a man get the ball back for the Black Princesses. And this is Wasma Muhammad. She strikes from a long range. That is what football is all about. You make it a point to see where those pocket of spaces are, to realize where the weaknesses of your opponent are, and put it to good use in your favor. 
and I'm so much optimistic that the technical team of Black Princesses have sent the weakness of Fauzia to who fails to always gather in her first attempt. They wanted to put her to test and see if she would feel just as she did in the first half. Throw in. Three minutes after recess. These teams, both of them, with the one leading Ghana, talks of re strategizing, regrouping by the Yusif Baziki led technical team. On the other hand, Coach Pascal of Burkina Faso, there definitely have been talks of getting into the game, doing a lot of pressing, getting and holding on to possession and ensuring that you lure the defenders out of their positions. And that is the only way to get back strongly in this game. Matthew and Yame, Angie Kelly and Ghana gets free kick. And that was that clip by Monifatu on Mephi and Yame. Free kick. Two players are behind. Mohammed and Stella Nyameche on target. Fauzia too with a second attempt. Ensuring that her team is still in the game. And that effort, a very long strike there for Mohammed of Northern Ladies. Fatimata Fuseni. Sarah Kulibli of Army Ladies proving the reason why she has started all of Ghana's games so far in this tournament. Even when she is not on her feet, she makes it a point to retrieve the ball, which is very, very important. Possession, it's what gives you the ability and the edge over your opponent. Helena Lomenu. Throw in. 15 minutes in Adelaide. Kabori, together with Latifatu. These two defenders are really fumbling to deal with this pacey winger of black princesses. Helen Alomeno throw in and Fatimata Fuseni has fancied the long one, the long throw. Manages to get it into the half, but Ali Mata Belem of Burkina Faso, the captain, she was on target in the opening game after failing to score from the spot kick, made amend and get the crucial goal. Faiza Seydou of target, goal kick for Burkina Faso. And Faiza Seydou is yet to score in this competition. She had 15 goals. That was the strike that she missed. It wasn't on target. She had 15 goals in Ghana's Women's Premier League in the just ended season. But just to give Ghanaians some sort of encouragement for you to know that you have quite a very rich bench as well. The top scorer in the Women's Premier League for Ghana, Maryam Ponsa of Ampem Dakwa Ladies, is on the bench are waiting to be introduced. Ghana has a very good bench and so do the Burkina Bays. Corner kick for Ghana. Will they get a goal from this? First corner kick in the very first half for Ghana. They are now probing, they are now pushing, asking right questions, knowing um, the mistake um, for their, uh, for their two is capable of making the need to send in as many balls into the box and see what they're able to do. Ghana with a chance to make it 3-1. Mafia Nyame. Although she had a fast through that header, it wasn't 
on target. So the scoreline remains the same. Ghana 2, Burkina Faso 1. If you look at those deliveries from Wasma Mohammed and Stella Nyamiche, there you would realize that Ghana have a very good set piece takers. And that was the goal that was scored. Adama Congo is substituted. She is replaced by Daniela Odrago. And this is quite a huge response as well from Pascal the coach of Burkina Faso. He knows that he needs to get the equalizer before Ghana extend their lead. Mephi Nyame strikes. Another committed block. This time around from Diana Cynthia Kabori. Sarah Kulibli nullifies that attack and threat from Burkina Faso. Good play by the Burkina Bay, surging forward to see what they are able to do instead of. So in 55 minutes, Ghana 2, Burkina Faso 1. And the clock keeps ticking. Throwing taken by Latifatu for Burkina Faso and Ghana clear their lies. Faisa Seidu for Ghana. Good retrieve by Diana Cynthia Kabori who was subsequently fouled. And this is a foul that the referee might be lenient with Helen because if another cash should come that means it will be early shower for Helen Alomeni who is already on a yellow card. I guess Vasiki will have to notice that and make the changes because where Alom Alomenu is operating is that really slippery for her that she might she's been cautioned for the first time and then it wouldn't take it lightly. The referee overlooked at this one. I don't think she'll be lucky the second time. Comfort Owusu with a chance to extend the lead. Good first touch. Comfort Owusu misses. How was this possible? Unmarked, not under pressure. This should have been goal bound. She had her run perfectly then. Took her time with a first touch. Raised her head to even see where the goalkeeper was positioned. But that final delivery was awful. This should have invariably been on target. I guess Comfort was selfish on that opinion because Faiza was running through the, that she could have laid off the pass for her just, to just tap in. But just a wasteful opportunity is unpardonable for Comfort to just commit such, such a mistake. Corner kick, but goalkeeper Fauzia too as we approach the hour mark of this game. Wafu under 20 girls cup. Made in addition, Ghana. Nawomi for Burkina. Success with the defensive duties for Ghana. Burkina Faso building from behind once again Wasima before Mephi Nyame Fatimata to Helen and Helen has to be very very cautious with her tackles she has already been cautioned Ghana can't afford to miss her in the grand finale if she should be sent off. Naomi Adeli Cabri. Free kick. Stella Nyameche. Stella Nyameche is shown the yellow card for this tackle. Stella finds her name not only on the score sheet, 
but also in the books of the referee. And that is the second booking for Ghana. And Stella is equally a very pivotal and important player for the Black Princesses. She has indeed led through inspiration and of course through the goals. Helen steals the ball off Cynthia Diana Cabri. Free kick to Ghana. Helen Alomenu. When the season ended and the Women's Premier League in Ghana, Helen had eight goals for her team who were debutants in the league this season. She had eight goals. And this is another dead ball situation at a very good position for Stella Nyamete to be on target for Ghana. They need to extend their lead in order to have a very good cushion. But what would have out of this particular free kick? Stella, the captain, a coach as well, and a player less than 18 years. Already on three goals, she has scored in all games that she has played and this time around the deflection from Munifa to Helby denies Stella Nyamiche the chance to get a goal from this dead ball situation that was goal bound that was a goal bound and a good um, free kick from Stella Nyamiche that's what she knows how to do best corner kick for Ghana let's see how it goes Fatimata with Stalonia Meche exchanging few passes and this header, Helen Alomenu on target. Fauzia to Gavis. 60 minutes. Ghana to Burkina Faso one. And Stella from that corner kick. The header initially for Malima Tabellum, which fell on the feet of Helen Alomenu. And Fauzia too, who was well positioned, had no difficulties grabbing it this time around once, not with a second attempt. What a good strike from the discovery of the year in the Ghana Women's Premier League, Helen Alumenu. And what an equally a good save from Fauzia too this time around. Sarah Kulibli to Helen Alomenu, Mefia Nyame. Mefia sent it back. And Stella Nyameche with this Hollywood pass. Comfort Uzu nearly extending the lead. But if you look at her level of intelligence for football, her IQ of course in football is exceptional. Look at the pass that she gave. Stella Nyamiche. Sending the ball through Alimata and Latifatu. It had to take the intervention of Fauzia to, to curb off that danger and deny Ghana getting their third goal. Naomi of Burkina Faso. But Sarah steals the ball off her feet. Ghana, Comfort Ousu. Back to success. And success manages to find Helen, who initially was struck off but continued before finally getting the free kick. She initially had this tap on Latifa to is protesting her innocence as usual of players to go such way I didn't do it meanwhile when you go into the slow motion or whatever you find them committing that kind of blunder but Ghana has been slow in their build-up they look a bit too slow for me they are not attacking the ball even though they are surging forward they have all the opportunities 
they need to score more goals. If you want to relax in such matches, you need to put in much more goals to make sure you are okay. Then you can relax and then you can have fresh leg coming in to support you in this stand around. This is a huge game that we have the coach of Ghana's Black, who is in attendance. And there you have lots of dignitaries, in, including Dr. Gifti Owari, the president and owner of Berry Ladies, one of the clubs that play in Ghana's Women's Premier League. Free kick, Stalin Yamiche goes for goal. Missed narrowly. She's missed narrowly. Good corner kick. She scored from the similar position in Ghana's opener against Benny. And that was the third goal in that game. And that same spot could have equally given Ghana via third goal. Ghana have so far in this tournament played two games, thus making it three games inclusive. They have scored six goals. Burkina Faso on the attack. Florentine, the lady who had the first goal, Florentine still with the ball, is finally taken off and thrashed off to safety by Fatimata Fuseni. Goal kick to Ghana, 65 minutes. Ghana two. Burkina Faso won. The scoreline still remains unchanged in the second half despite playing over 15 minutes in the second half. Helen Alomenu for Ghana. Back to Murphy at Nyame. In Ghana's two games, they've scored six. This makes it their eighth goal. Come for the Wusu to Murphy at Nyame. Murphy saved by Fauzia too. Ghana needs to have a very good cushion. But just to remind you that at 6.30 there is another grand of course game that will be taking place involving the Falconets of Nigeria and their counterparts from Benin. That game is equally live on Max TV and the time is 18.30 GMT. Astagana needs to make sure they score the third goal at least to cushion them. Either than that, they will be living dangerously because their defense is not that solid. It, it takes time for them to settle in because they are all pushing up forward to make sure they get that third goal. But they should be watchful behind when they are surging forward. A confirmation of the scoreline, Ghana 2. Burkina Faso won as we approach the 70th minute and Latifa 2 of Burkina Faso is limping. Hopefully she would be able to continue because this is the semi-final of the competition. A win for either team would secure that team the slot in the grand finale. Nigeria and Beni are watching keenly with interest because a winner in that encounter would face a winner in this encounter as well in the grand finale precisely on the 3rd of June live on Max TV as well free kick taken by Burkina Faso Naomi Latifatu Helen gives possession away to Naomi. Wasma reclaims for Ghana. No one in sight for the black princesses. Throw in. Wasma heads. Success follows Captain Stalin Yameche, Sarah Kolibli. The attempt to find Comfort the Woods who wasn't footfall. The ball goes behind. Linda. 
and two key players in the heart of Medford for Burkina Faso who have excelled in all their games. Munifa to Helby and Linda, all of them have been passive in this game, but the coach has allowed them to continue play right from the first half, including over 20 minutes in, in the second half. Good play from Ghanaians. They are still surging forward to secure that third goal to cushion them and see how they will manage the game. But as it stands, it's still Ghana surging forward to make sure they get the third goal. Burkina Faso trying to be on the offensive, but Sarah Kulibli manages to trash it up to safety. Florentine fills to get the ball. Success lender for Burkina Faso to Alimata. Ghana, Sergei, Stella Nyamiche, Stella back to Mephia Nyame, Balimata Belem, the captain, recovers the possession back, manages to find Nawomi Adeli Cabri. Florentine gets the ball for Burkina Faso, Afi. This is the first save that Afi has to make in the second half, and that came in the 70th minute. This tells you how very persistent the Black Princesses have been in their quest to extend their lead and as such, rather sending all the pressure on the defense of Burkina Faso, Faiza Seidu. And Ghana are yet to make any substitution up front. The players, Mephia Nyame, Faiza Seidu, Helena Lomenu, all of them still in action for the Black Princesses. So Ghana's up front is unchanged. The only substitution came on the right flank. And that. 70 minutes referee blows for water break and such this would be a huge opportunity for the two coaches to retreat their tactics before the final 20 minutes of this game comes to an end yes this is the time sawadogo pascal will be telling her girls you have made it and then just a little edge you need to push uh, push more because the defense of Ghana is not that solid. They always, always, and always want to defend deep, which is not helping the Burkinabis. They defend deep, and when the ball is being laid through, they have only a player in there to hold on to the ball for the others to come up, and which is not helping them. But for Ghana, they've been asking questions. They have gotten the chances. They have made so many incursions, but they are not being clinical. They are not making a good finish adding on to that. They are living dangerously because should any mistake happen in the defense, it could be 2-2. And they need not to wait till that point. They need to go up at least by three and then you are relaxed to make sure you manage the game. 20 minutes left for them to see if they will be the first finalist of the Wafu Zombie Girls Club. The goal that was caught by success for Ghana. And that is the lead that they have held on to right from the first half up until the 72nd minute of the game. Offside against Ghana. Free kick to Burkina Faso with just 18 minutes to end the game. Helen was the one who found herself in that offside track beautifully set by Burkina Faso. An inaugural tournament aimed at allowing girls under 20 years to exhibit and showcase to the global world 
what they are made up of in terms of their talent in football. And just as that could have been on target, but it wasn't, still an amateur pouncing on that loose ball with the goalpost in sight. Girls under 20 with the privilege of getting to let the world know what they are made up of. In the month of July, the boys tournament would equally take place. But until then, we would be having an inaugural winner of this prestigious tournament. And this will be a title that will be well cherished, well honored, well embraced, well celebrated by the team that wins it. Faisal Seydou for Ghana. Another save by Fauzia too. Helen smashed wide. Goal kick. And Helen is yet to get a goal in this competition. Pfizer's first effort was saved before the follow-up ended up wide. Salama 2. Kwanda has been introduced by Burkina Faso. She plays a vital role in their opening game against Togo. In their second game as well against Niger. She featured and even scored a goal. They have introduced her because the coach is throwing all his cards out. This is a must win game. In as much as they might have another game for the third and fourth, if they fail to score, Stella Nyameche. With that strike, she stole the ball off the feet of Linda, who just stood there watching her on without making any attempt and allowed Stella to come out with that strike. They were just fortunate that it wasn't on target. That could have given Ghana that good cushion. Ghana 2 after 75 minutes. Ghana 2, Burkina Faso 1. Ghana are still holding on to the goals that he had from Stalin Amateur. And then success Amia in the first half after Florentine had given Burkina Faso the lead. Ghana surging forward and then this is how we see it has been a nice first half. Burkina Bay seems to be settled a bit but they, they, they are not making any incursion up front. They rather defend and when they get the ball passing, just one straight and then they try to see what movement they can. But it's not really working on well. I don't know whether the changes that Pascal Sawadugo is making is just to throw more in fresh legs to make sure they see what they are able to do. But since then, Burkina Faso has been um, mere passenger. They haven't been of threat. Even though when the attack is dangerous, they are not making use of that kind of threat to threaten the Ghanaian defenders. Latifatu. Ghana, most of their players looking a bit fatigued. Nawomi Kabri getting the better of success, Amiya. A referee, what is she indicating? Penalty to Burkina Faso. A decision that has indeed surprised the fans. Success was caught nabbing and failed to deal with Nawomi Adele Cabri on the edge of the penalty area and even a, a yellow card for success in addition. What a dramatic end to this game. Just when Ghana thought that they had the game under control, Burkina Faso have gotten the privilege of seeking parity 
And look at her face and villain, Alima Tabellum, the captain. She took their first penalty when they played against Beni, but missed it. Afi had to save the black princesses and ensure that Ghana do not give away the elite that they have put, protected with every fiber in them for the past almost 30 minutes. Alima Tabellum against Afi. What will be the turnout? Alimata against Afi. Alimata fails to score once again. So she misses two penalty. And look at how that save is well celebrated by the teammates of Afi. Alimata, she slipped after taking the penalty. But the important thing is that Afi had the direction right. She saves. And look at the fans who are so much delighted that Afi has indeed rescued the black princesses. Um, Esther, when you asked me, was there a contact? Yes, this is how it was. It was a contact. But clearly, um, Afi made sure she put Ghana into that safety. And then she has done a tremendous job by saving Ghana. Still, Ghana leaves. And then this is how the changes has been because Helena is always also on a card that it looks if it's not taken care we might go down into the dream ghana introduces georgina aisha a player who plays for popular ladies as well belem alimata the captain of burkina faso would indeed curse her stars if they fail to make it to the finals. She missed when they played against Benny. When they played when they played against Togo, she missed her penalty. But she managed to find a means of making amends when she scored with the, during the dying embers of that game. And look at the timing that he had in the penalty, the 77th minute. Stella Nyamiche, Georgina Fauzia to the master sweeper, comes out of her lines. And Ghana, advantage is played. Free kick to Ghana as we approach the 81st minute. Stella Nyamiche. She wanted to ensure that the ball was right in front of Georgina Aisha, but that was nullified from that very swift response from Fauziatu. Mohammed takes Fauziatu, punches away. Mohammed gets the ball back. Stalin Yameche with good turn. Good interception from Latifa too. And Naomi Adeli Cabri, the lady who won the penalty for Burkina Faso. The narrative is so, so much interesting that you find how it turns out to be very surprising. In the game against Togo, it was Naomi Adeli Cabri who won that penalty for Burkina Faso, only for Alima Tabellem to miss it. And in this same trajectory, she wins another penalty. And Alima Tabellem once again misses. This is how Ghana should be attacking. Ghana is really on the nerves they are trying to manage the game to victory but here is the case they are still missing chances they need to be worried because referee is not on their side and they need to be disciplined on the field of play as well because decisions made is sometimes questionable but hey this is how the game goes they need to be tactically disciplined at this very moment of the time 82 minutes they need to search forward 
make sure to cushion them, get the third goal, and then they can relax for the rest of the entire minute. Ghana with a chance to extend, and they do. Ghana three. Burkina Faso one. Faisa Seydou finally on the score. She does well in this tournament. And she celebrates the Northern Ladies winger. Extends Ghana's lead. Makes it 3-1. And the fans are ecstatic. She was well placed. Had her first control right before and showing that she had a better side of Fauzia too, who couldn't find answers this time around us. She was indeed just placed aside. So Ghana 3, Wakina Faso 1, Faisa Seidu finally on target. Mephia Nyame placing that equally an intelligent pass for Fauzia to, to slot in that third goal. At least now they'll be pushing and then relax to play their normal games as there is no pressure on them. Ghana with a chance to make it 4-1 for Zia 2. Alima Tabelem. And if you look at how the Falconets of Nigeria are watching this game with interest, as well as Beni on the other hand, for Beni they have played with Ghana in Group A and Ghana beat them by three goals to zero and so am I certain that Ghana after this game might see it be and ensure that they watch this game as well with keen interest as they await the team that they would square it off in the grand finale precisely on the 3rd of June here at the Babayara Sports Stadium Mephi Nyame so after the introduction of Georgina Aisha, it means that Mafia Nyame has dropped to be in the heart of midfield, supporting success Amia and the Wasma Muhammad. And those are front doing the job for Ghana are the likes of Faiza Seidu, who had the third important goal for the team. And then Stella Nyameche throwing taken swiftly by Ghana Mephi Nyame to comfort Yevoa Florentine gets the ball after comfort Yevoa slip Burkina Faso with a chance but the decision this time around has favoured the Black Princesses of Ghana was a push on the defender success Amiya so the referee was in a good position to notice that call for a good foul for Ghanaians. They are relaxed now. But Afi is just relaxed. Poised and then was good goalkeeping from her. From that penalty that she saved, it has given her that kind of confidence from behind. And she's just trying to communicate and trying to uh, just organize her defense well not to have that kind of unconflicting passes and then that kind of miscommunication at the back. She is a pivot for Ghana at the goal post. Goal kick, Afi takes her time before taking the kick for Ghana. Mephia Nyame, Georgina Aisha for Ghana Black Princesses corner kick that ball situation to Ghana's advantage and that is this after Georgina in that tango with Latifa to has that corner kick and Ghana will take their time to take this corner kick with three minutes to end the first the, the first semi-final of this tournament and then the Dastros player Stella Nyamiche floats it in a header from Comfort Owusu 
After that delivery, Wasma Mohammed was also interested, but because she couldn't communicate well with Comfort, the header from Comfort almost wasn't on target. Goal kick quickly taken. F2-1 was a difficult tax for Burkina Faso to respond. 3-1 would be the extreme. Stella Nyameche, Diana Sinfia Kabori wins this free kick for Burkina Faso. Substitutions about to be made by Burkina Faso and the substitution we see the introduction of another key player of course for Burkina and Dreyer comes in for Burkina Faso with the last two minutes to end the game and so it's Pfizer Seydou waiting patiently to be allowed back into the game and look at the sprint from Hanford Owusu with just a minute on the clock Ghana 3 Burkina Faso 1 and Mary Amponsan of Ampem Dakwa ladies gets the final minute of this game That is substitution by Ghana's black princesses. The first touch from Mary Amponsa. Comfort Usu. Comfort Yeboag wins. The Troyan for Ghana. And Comfort Yeboag is taken all the time. Mefia Nyame, Ghana, from Zia to Gathers. That is a good managing for the Ghanaian team. Miriam Ponsa has come in for Faisa Seydou. Latter part had a bit of the ball. And then this is how Ghana makes it to the semi-finals. It's Ghana defending and it's plays to safety. Ghana defending is played to safety is clearing the lines and then making sure they defend defend gallantly as they are making their way or the final hurdles into being the first finalist of the Wafu Zobi Girls Under 20 Cup. Burkina Faso Naomi Adele offside. Four minutes of additional time. Ghana in a comfortable lead. And Munifatu Helbi. She couldn't realize very early that Naomi was in an offside position. We are left with just three minutes to end the game. And Ghana are on the verge of becoming the first finalist in this tournament. That means that their campaign, their mission, their target prior to the commencement of this tournament, just as their coach indicated, you see Baziki, that this is a huge tournament, a maiden one. All teams participating are eager. Munifatu shrugged off Stalin Yameche, the captain of the Black Princesses. She's been offended to by these fans are uh, in an explosive joy enjoying themselves here at the Babayara Sports Stadium. A huge, a huge game it has been of course, a very challenging one. And this is a game that Ghana's black princesses had to trail and fight from behind before finally getting three goals. Fatima Tafuseni to Wasma Mohammed 
Mäffchen ja me. Slå en. And it has rather been given in favor of Burkina Faso. At 6.30 p.m. on Max TV, another live game, another semi-final, the second for the day. Nigeria versus Benin. Free kick to Ghana with just 20 seconds to end the game. Stella Nyameche, Munifatu Halbi for Burkina. Fatima Tafuseni to Wasma Mohammed. Come for the Wusu. Salama to with her first touch since she was introduced. Wasma for Ghana. Stalana Meche to Georgina. Georgina fights Maryam Ponsa. But the flag was already up against Mary Aponsa. If she's played as a lone striker up front, Mary Aponsa is always the best belt for Ghana. She really knows how to press on and pressure her opponents. Mephi Nyame from the attacking position to the midfield role but it's all over here at the Babayara Sports Stadium for the first semi-final Ghana are through to the inaugural edition of this women's tournament been organized in Ghana by Wafu Afi with the important save after Belem Alimata had to take the penalty that could have restored parity for them in this game Fauzia too was very good on the day but because the black princesses were exceptional they have secured their slot to be in the grand finale of the Wafu Zombie U20 Girls Cup success Ameye, Stella Nyameche and Faiza Seydou in the 13th, 29th minute and the 82nd minute Ghana wins 3-1 to secure their final bet it's Ghana 3, Burkina Faso 1 at the end of 90 minutes. This is how we began in the second half after a very eventful first half. With Ghana doing the most, continuing from where they left off in the opening period through making a lot of inquiries from the defense of Burkina Faso. After this free kick was awarded, Mohammed took it, but it was saved by Fauzia too. Afterwards, Ghana had some glaring and very good chances that they needed to even have extended the lead earlier, but that wasn't as planned. Kanfo the Wusu had this great, glorious chance to just put the game to bed for the Black Princesses. She couldn't make it count before this deflection of Heather from Alimata to deny Stella Nyameche from getting a breeze in this game. And Helen Alomenu's effort was saved with a second attempt from Fauzia to of Burkina Faso. And Kanfodo Wusu, who had this chance, couldn't get the goal. And Helen, on the other hand, after that tango with Latifatu, and this strike by Stella Nyameche. And Florentine, On the other hand, for Burkina Faso, before Mephia Nyame's effort was saved by Fauzia too. And looking at how good they were on the ball, they had 
some good chances that could have given Ghana over four goals in this game. But that one too wasn't successful for them. Stella Nyamiche, who had already gotten the goal, attempted to get the double. Success gave away a penalty from this challenge, but Afi was the lifesaver of the Black Princesses through the save that she made to ensure that Ghana's lead wasn't cancelled. And Fauzia too here. Both good with the hands and the legs before finally Faisal Seydu gave Ghana a very good cushion with his 82nd minute goal that she had to make it 3-1 for Ghana's Black Princesses. Good pass. This time around from Mephi Nyame, who has shouldered the midfield responsibility efficiently after the introduction of Georgina Aisha for the Black Princesses. And Comfort Iabua gave possession away here to Florentine. But despite getting the ball, Naomi Cabri couldn't get the goal. So it ends Ghana 3, Burkina Faso 1, 63% ball possession in the second half for Ghana, 37 for Burkina, 15 shots on target in entirety, and then three resulting in goals and two shots on target for Burkina Faso, one resulting in a goal for them. 14 corners in all for Ghana, one for Burkina. Four offside against Ghana, three against Burkina Faso, 14, uh, 13 fouls committed by Ghana, 12 by Burkina Faso, and there are three yellow cards for Ghana, none for Burkina. It ends. Ghana's Black Princesses are through to the finals of the inaugural competition. Ghana three, Burkina Faso one. 6.30 p.m., another game, Nigeria versus Benny live on Max TV. Thanks so much for joining us. Over to Nafisa for the post match interviews. It's all over here at the Babayara Sports Stadium. Joy, victory. Ghana booked their first, um, their slots in the finals of the Wafubi Under 20 Girls Cup.